In How I Met Your Mother, Marshall is going to law school and is known for completing long research papers the night before the deadline and getting an A on the paper too. Enter stage left, the uptight professor. She keeps giving Marshall lower grades, so Marshall asks his pal, Barney, to get friendly with her. Okay, yes, this is a TV show and this is a bit extreme to get a passing grade. However, there's a reason the show did this. We'll talk about that later, so stay tuned. Sex can have a lot of crazy impacts on us. We've talked about the effects of sex on the body. So let's talk about the shocking effects of sex on your mental health. Number one, life is good. It might be cliche, but sex can just make you feel good. In 2009, two researchers from the University of West Scotland did a study to see how one's satisfaction of life changed based on how often they were having sex. They found that the two are positively correlated for both men and women. The more they had sex, the happier they were with their sex life, their relationship, life in general, and their mental health. This same pair of researchers did a similar study in 2011 to find out if satisfaction of life and mental health changed when they added vaginal orgasms to the picture. It didn't change squat. The more sex and vaginal orgasms, the better your mental health and satisfaction of life is. Now, this isn't to say to go have a bunch of sex to have positive impacts on your mental health. We're simply acknowledging that a healthy and safe sexual relationship can help to strengthen your mental health, just as exercise or practicing mindful would. Number two, negative act, negative effect. We are about to talk about childhood sexual abuse and unaliving. If this is a topic you're avoiding, feel free to skip to the next point. We can't ignore the fact that sex isn't always a positive thing and it happens without consent. Before we go further, if this has happened, please reach out to a trusted authority or medical professional. In 2018, Cambridge University released a study examining the relationship between childhood sexual abuse and the risk of mental health concerns. As you might've guessed, there is a higher risk for increased psychopathology levels. Some adults began abusing substance based on previous abuse, and some even ended their own lives. Abuse is no joke, and it should never be hidden. If you or someone you know is a victim, please tell someone. Timing matters. Have you ever watched a kid's movie as an adult and caught a subtly placed innuendo? <laughs> Disney's famous for them. One of my personal favorites is from Toy Story. While Woody is giving the toys the daily announcements, he tells them Andy's birthday party was moved to that day. Slinky starts helping Woody calm the rest of the toys down and reassures them Andy won't get new toys and stop playing with them. Mr. Potato Head is over it all, pops off his mouse and starts tapping his rear with it. As a kid, that might've gone over your head. As an adult, you know Mr. Potato Head is throwing shade at Slinky, calling him a butt kisser. This illustrates that what you take away from something can depend on what stage of life you're in. The same goes for sex. A group of researchers led by Brian Soller acknowledged all prior research showing that having sex during adolescence can increase the risk for mental health issues in their youth and added to it. They took that data and added authenticity as a factor. In women, if the sexual relationship is inauthentic, adolescent sex can increase the potential for mental health problems. In men, this additional factor didn't alter impacts further. It sucks and it almost hurts to hear but some things are better to wait for. A natural remedy? Remember Marshall and his professor from earlier? Sure, it's a TV show, which is meant to be dramatized for comedic purposes, but they weren't too off with this one. The University of Michigan did a study in 2014 to see how stress levels change in young women based on the frequency of sex. Now, there were participants in this study with mental illness and those without. During the weeks they had sex, the ladies with diagnosed illnesses experienced a significantly decreased amount of stress. It was a smaller change, but even the participants without illnesses experienced less stress. You see, being a lawyer who's quick on his feet, Marshall calculated professor plus Barney plus sex minus stress equals Marshall passes the class. Good job, Marshall, but maybe less manipulation tactics next time. Our brains are so sensitive. Everything we think, say, do, eat, or drink can impact it. And this is why it's so important that we learn as much about the brain and what affects it. This way you can enjoy a positive, healthy mental state late into life. Do you know of any other impacts that sex can take on your mental health? Let us know in the comments. And the next time you're stressed, tell your partner you need some sexy time because science said so. <laughs> Until next time.